Are you in any fandoms? Uh, yes. Don't you wish that our fandoms could be on Heron TV? <laughs> yes, that would be great. Too bad it won't happen. Now it will! Yes! Yes! Yay. <laughs> this is the best part! Hey, Herons. Hey, dudes. So, uh, today, I guess the main point of this episode is fandoms or something? I guess so, but hey, us cool dudes and dudes got to be in a fandom episode together. Nice. Can I just take a nap or have a hot dog? After the episode, okay? Well, let's get to the sensational pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow, I feel really American right now. Well, I mean, you are. I guess that's true. Well, to get away from that, I want to be filled with wonder, excitement, and confusion. So, you want to read a book? Basically. Well, we have a book review. Let's see what the book is. She Must Overcome Her Fear and Lack of Confidence to Find Them Again by Sunburst Publishing Company. Clay Marble is a realistic fiction book by Ming Fung Ho. Dara is an adventurous girl. She's curious but knows what isn't safe. But sometimes hunger and neediness can motivate her to take risks if needed. Dara's village was in the way of a war. After many family deaths, they decided to leave their village and go to a refugee camp where they met a family that took them in. And two gave Dara a clay marble that was supposedly magic. When she was feeling sad or down, she was supposed to squeeze it. We made a connection to elementary school. Our bus driver gave us candy when we were scared or sad about a test. If you like realistic and intense books, you will enjoy the clay marble. There's many plot twists that will leave you shocked. Will Dara survive war-torn Cambodia? That seems like such a great book. I can't wait to read it. Like you said yourself, that'll have to wait till after here on TV, okay? Okay, sounds good, I guess. Now, I know I'm sandstastic at puns, but I think I need another joke in my life. Well, let's get to the joke of the day. Hey, Justin, what time is it? Oh, dude. Time for the day. <laughs> it is, bro. <laughs> Ethan, you want to hear Joe? Yeah, sure. Ethan, what do you get when you crossbreed a shark and a cow? I don't know, but I wouldn't milk it. <laughs> that was hilarious. It really tickled my funny bone. Don't laugh too hard. Wait, why? He said not to milk it. Oh, okay. Anyways, it's been pretty cold outside. Oh yeah, it has. Well, I guess we should get to the weather. Hope the sun looks like this for the rest of the week. Yeah, man. I'm feeling tilted. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, celebrating the achievements and contributions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the United States. Oh hey, I'm a Pacific Islander. And I'm an Asian American. Ah, oh, that's cool. From India to Indonesia to Thailand to Japan, Asia has more than half of the world's population. There are dozens of different diverse cultures that are considered Asian and Pacific, many of which we are lucky to have represented at the school. 
Asian Americans have participated in building our railroads, developing our technology, running our government, creating art and entertainment, gaining fame in sports and music, and brought us everything from dim sum to sushi to curries to kimchi. Yoga, anime, fireworks, paper, toothbrushes, and playstations were all invented in Asia. Well, before we end, we should hear from the student council. Oh, true. Let's watch from Suco TV. Good morning, Harrens. I'm Isabel. I'm Mai. Trevor. I'm Trevor. Wait, Starting wait. this Monday, this week will be teacher appreciation. You can fill out appreciation notes for teachers and other students at lunches Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The notes will be made into posters for each teacher. Notes to students will be delivered to lockers. Don't forget that the lip sync audition will be held in the gym on May 10th from 4.15 to 5.10. This Thursday, be sure to sign up before going. And the clipboard is at Student Services Student Council. Elections will be held on the 21st to 25th. Hi. Packets are available Hi. on May 7th and due Friday you guys can probably do the that. 18th. You can Student council is honestly really fun and you get to do so many things that impact the school and you just get to learn how to become a better leader and have fun. I love student council because you get a lot of new experiences with new people and you get to work in a bunch of different categories and it impacts the way you look at each VMS. I love student council. Student council offers lots of freedom. Freedom is good. So I really love student council because you get to work together with new people and you just get to be a leader at your school. Isn't it so demanding that you have to drop everything and just focus on it and just like you have to like get it done. Like there's a lot of just freedom. In well, Herons, you just heard from your executive council members from this year how amazing executive council can be. Uh, I want you, that's right, I'm looking at you to apply. Do you want to see changes at Happy Valley? Do you want to improve who we are and what we do? And, and do you want to improve dances and have a great time doing it? Then go to the main office, pick up an application form, and apply. Leadership is about taking action, becoming the change that you want to see at Happy Valley. We want you. I'm looking at you. Go sign up right now. Make this happen. Make this a great year next year. It's your school. We want to see you. Thanks, Harrens. Remember, Harrens, we represent you. Adopting a child will change the world. That child, the world will change. It's from Danny Duncan. Oh yeah, that reminds me. It's not too late to sign up for the Happy Valley Fun Run this Saturday, May 12th. Yep, there is a 1 mile, 5k, and 10k option. Also, the track team will be competing at the district meet this Wednesday at CHS. Good, Good luck and have a great day, Harris.